Howdy, my name is Anne McCarthy. I'm a developer relations wrangler at Automatic, and this is a video about exploring the navigation block for WordPress 5.9. So what is the navigation block? The navigation block is an advanced new block that enables you to edit your site's navigation menu, both in terms of structure and design. It's also one of the milestones for full site editing if you've seen some of my other videos. And it's one of 30 theme blocks available to use in the upcoming WordPress 5.9 release. So what are the benefits for users? At a high level, the benefits are many, including having full control of your site's navigation in terms of look, feel, and placement, and the ability to build out more complex menus if you want to. For now though, let's look into some specifics. So you'll actually have access to responsive menu options that you'll actually see depicted in the screenshot here. So you can do things like have the responsive menu always on, on for only smaller screen sizes, or off entirely. There's also built-in keyboard accessibility that comes with the block. You'll have the ability to control design aspects from the font size, font family, color, et cetera, to the layouts with the inclusion of block gap support, flex layout support, and the ability to change the vertical or horizontal alignment. You'll be able to add a wide range of blocks, including search, site icon, and more. You'll be able to add submenu items and set the coloring for them separately to create some cool styles. You'll have the option to add all pages and create draft pages while you're building out your menu. Finally, you'll be able to reuse the block across themes, which I'll go into more in a bit. So what would the experience be like? Let's quickly jump into a demo comparing the current experience with the new experience. All right, so let's jump into the current experience first. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. I'm just gonna quickly title this YouTube menu, create menu. Y'all are probably familiar with this. You have the options block select. I'll snag a few test pages and just add them in here just to show, as you all know, the usual way to create a menu. You can drag these around, you can indent them to change um, the structure, and then you can assign different menu locations. So this is the current experience, not very visual, not a lot of options to change. Now let's jump into the new experience and you'll see there was a little three dot um, menu for me to choose from. I can then select from different menus that I've worked with in the past or I can start empty. So in this case, I'm gonna start empty. I'm gonna call this main menu, jump right in. From there, I can just start adding and actually building the menu visually. So I can add a home link. I can then add a couple of pages. So I'll add projects, contact, and then about page I'll throw in there. Perfect. And I can just move these around, kind of like you can with any other block. So it's really nice, familiar experience. Um, there's a new tool right there to add submenu items, so I'll add a few, we'll do artwork, photography, boom, looks good. So now that I have the general structure in place, um, I can actually go in and edit the overall menu itself just by selecting the parent um, menu right there. I can then change around using list view, there's a list view built in that I can change around and move these blocks around very easily. So if you're ever dealing with a, you know, a 20 huge complex uh, mega menu, you can actually edit things that way. There's also a ton of tools as you'll see once you open up the sidebar. So you can change the justification. We'll keep it there. You can change the orientation. So you can switch that around. I'm gonna keep it like this for now. Actually move this back over to the right. From there, these are the mobile responsive options. You can have always on um, and you can see it there or you can keep it with mobile. You can then show or hide icons for submenu items, which is pretty neat. From there, there's a ton of typography controls to further edit as you'd like. I'm gonna make these lowercase to match the site title, site tagline. I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger. There we go, that's much better. And there I might add in, maybe change around, hmm. Change around the decoration or maybe the appearance. Yeah, let's do appearance. A little bit bold, bold, it's a little too bold. <laughs> I'll switch it back to light. Let me try extra light and keep it there. Sweet. So those are different appearance um, options you can change. There's also a ton of color options. So these are the various options for the actual main menu itself right here. And then if you keep scrolling down, there's actually some sub menu and overlay text. So the um, mobile responsive menu, you can set the overlay text for that. I'm actually gonna do um, for the sub menu, a custom color that I added, boom. And this matches actually the colors below um, on the rest of the page, so that's pretty cool. Then I'll just hit save. Now I wanna show off um, the ability to actually add other blocks. So let's add in a search block, you'll see them down below. 
and I can make some adjustments here. We'll just quickly, you know, do no button, maybe add an optional placeholder search, dot, dot, dot. Sweet. Looking pretty good right now. This is very easy to do, very visual. Now on the front page, you can actually see it um, live. Let's edit it back just to show off um, what the always on responsive menu looks like as well. So I'll just select the overall parent block once more, open up the settings, hit always, save, and go back to the main page just to check it out. Sweet, looks great. Now I wanna show what it looks like when you're actually switching themes. So when you switch themes, you open this menu again and you'll see from the selection various options, including the previous menu that I just made. So in switching themes, this is how you can actually reuse the menus across themes since it's saved as a custom post type. Now let's look at this navigation menu um, item. So you can see these are <laughs> more test sites. You could actually manage um, deletion and renaming of the navigation menu items from here. So it's the appearance, navigation menus. So here I am just quickly renaming it. So with that in mind, you should be all set to explore everything about menus. So will it work with classic themes? Right now it is slated to be a part of the WordPress 5.9 release, but expect that it will only work when using block themes, as there are still some technical details to figure out to make it work with classic themes. So if you want to explore this feature now, you don't, and you don't want to wait for the full 5.9 release, you can actually dig in currently using the WordPress beta tester plugin or the latest version of Gutenberg with a the block theme. As mentioned, I would highly recommend using this on the test site. I'll also link to the beta tester plugin below in case you want to check that out. So where can you leave feedback? You can give feedback directly on GitHub using the link shown here. Otherwise, you're also welcome to join the full site editing outreach program where we have calls for testing about these exact features. It's a great place to have a more guided tour and to make your voice heard. I'll link to more information in the description below. So what's to come? While this block is very far along, there are still items to figure out ranging from general user experience enhancements to larger questions. Here's a quick list of what you can expect to see tackled going forward, but keep in mind this doesn't cover everything. So this includes things like how it can be used in classic themes as I mentioned earlier, how this work fits into the larger navigation editor effort, how best to accommodate simple and complex menus in one block, how to refine the block theme switching experience. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay connected to me, I have a contact form on nomad.blog, or you can find me in WordPress.org Slack using the username at Anzazu. I hope this helps you feel excited about the navigation block and all that's to come with WordPress 5.9. I can't wait to see all the cool, intuitive, and beautiful menus that you create.